Hi YouTube, I have like an art supply and stationery haul to share with you. I thought let's start with the biggest item. I got this watercolor paper because I want to do like a swatch book to keep track of all of the watercolors that I own. This is not the best. I just did a few tests on here and like this is like a swatch of the desert green. So let's compare this to the artistical watercolor paper swatch and i like how it shows off the granulation of this watercolor so it's good enough to make a swatch book and this one just came in kind of like apart so i already emailed the web shop i bought from but it, oh <laughs> but this can happen so but I'm quite happy with this because this is a semi-affordable way to swatch all of the watercolors that I own because I don't expect other people to own as many watercolors that I have. There will be a watercolor collection so I want to prepare for that to have some sort of structure to the watercolor collection. Next up, I'm kind of embarrassed to show you all this haul because I heard that the PO48 is going to be discontinued so let me zoom in for a bit I got the Daniel Smith watercolor sticks like four of them are in the Quinburn orange like these four are the Quinburn orange which is the PO48 I need to get like uh, the Daniel Smith case for them. And this is the Queen Gold, which is the PY115 and the PO48. And these are a lot more affordable than the Daniel Smith watercolor tubes. Because if I'm correct, one stick contains three full pans and with a 15ml. A watercolor tube you can refill a full pan three times so this these were all like around 10 euros a stick so I was like I grabbed my chance and got them because they were on sale I think they are constantly on sale on that web shop they were 20% off so I like let me get a few and I'll be good because the new ones that are coming out tend to contain like a granulating pigment. Personally, I don't like to use like a granulating pigment every time. So for some paints, I need to have like a non-granulated watercolor. Like I don't understand why they keep stop making one of my favorite watercolor paints. I know it's linked to the industry, like I think the car industry and stuff like that. So if those colors are not popular anymore, the paint industry doesn't have enough pigment to create those watercolors. But maybe it's just me, but I keep seeing the burnt orange type of cars riding around. But maybe it's just me. I also got the Roman Schmal Queen Gold, which is the PO150 and the PO48. They also have like a hue of this color. Oh, here is the name on the back. And the uh, Quinacridone Burnt Sienna, which is just a single pigment PO48, which I thought it would be fun to add to my palette of Roman Schmal. I have like a few like favorite watercolor pigments, and that includes the PO48. Uh, the PY 129, which is like the green gold, and the Quin Coral, which I like to use. I like to use those pigments for skin tone, so I'm going to cry if the PY 129 and the PR 206 get discontinued, so that's there. And I also, I just wanted to show you, I didn't buy this recently. I in fact, bought this watercolor not last year, but the year before. And that's the original 
Conagodon Gold with the PO. Where is the pigment? PO49. I might try this pigment out on video. I just. The I Want Monster came out and I got the Paul Rubin Artist Watercolor Set. The new version. I think it's called the 4th generation. The 4th generation of watercolors. But this is like the Paul Rubens artist watercolor set. And I got the 36 watercolor set. So let's open it up. You can also see my lights <laughs> in the reflection and my camera. Plus I feel like I'm kind of done recycling for a bit. <laughs> I'm receiving packages. This is like a luxury problem. Let me fix the camera angle for a bit. It's kind of sloping down. It feels kind of crooked. Like. Let me put it up just a little bit more. Oh no, I've been filming this with my microphone off. I can't believe this. I'm gonna, oh my gosh, I was filming this all this time without my microphone on. I will see what I can do about the sound. But let's unbox this set. I'm quite excited in trying Paul Rubin watercolors out because I haven't tried them. Oh, they also come in like 5, 15 and 16 ml tubes. I don't know what it is, but eyes just freaks me out. Can I just... So here is the information on the Paul Rubin watercolors. So there will be a review on this set. I like the way... Oh, by the way, I only have like the Oprah colors from Paul Rubin. I don't have like regular watercolors from Paul Rubin. So I'm interested in the Conacodone Violets. Because it's a... Oh no, this is a PV-19. It's a different one, let me... Is it this one? Yes, it's the Cornacodon Maroon. Which is a PV42, which looks a little bit different. I think it looks different from the PV42 of... Let me think, Schminke. But I love like turquoise colors. I will find a way to use these colors. And of course, my favorite blue, cool blue, which is the PB16. What is azure hue? Which is a mixture of PB4 and PB15, colon 3. So I'm quite excited to try these colors out. And maybe I will try... No, I probably will rearrange. Oh, no. This one already exploded. Ugh. Which kind of sucks. If that's the only one, I will survive. <laughs> I think that's the only tube that got exploded in transit.
So of course I'm gonna film like a whole video on these watercolor sets. There are like a few <laughs> videos in work in progress. I need to find a way to review watercolors. I hope the fact that the sound wasn't on in the previous part doesn't hurt. Next up, I made a Muji order, which they packed really carefully. It's gonna make a lot of noise. I got this porcelain tray from Muji and also got like a longer version, which I wanna use. I want to use these palettes mainly for gouache. The tiny one would be great for like a limited color study, which I really want to get into. And I've been doing that lately on like the small plastic ones, but that keeps getting stained. So I thought it would be like a great way of using these gouache colors, especially this one. I think this would, I think these palettes would be like great for like smaller surface like you can keep this one next to your sketchbook with this one as well so you can keep painting but i like that muji didn't use like plastic to package these trays i got like two of this one and also two of this accidentally which you will see like another item that i got accidentally to work I broke like a porcelain palette, like it got chipped, so I think it's still usable, but I have to look into that one. So these porcelain trays are pretty handy. I got them from the bedroom section, not the this section. I think this is meant for a soap dish, and I think this was meant for like accessories on top. So I will link them down below. It's the German side, so I don't know how useful that is, but maybe that will help someone out. And okay, next up, two of these card holders. They have, they are disturbing my lights. They have like 100 pockets on the website. It said that it had 200 pockets. I think they meant 100 pockets and you can put 200 cards in it but I hope it's enough but I want to I will remove the plastic so this is how it looks and I want to put the swatch cards in here like you can see See like this, so on both sides. But these were pretty affordable. And I think it would be like great to use like a small folder for a few watercolor brands. So that that's the swatch folder in the making. And so I also got like a few small things. I got like two of these small sharpeners. I got like these two small sharpeners. These were out of stock for quite a while. So that one and a black gel pen body, which I want to put this gel pen inside of this body. Um, I also got like a few notebooks, which I thought it would be quite handy for this size for editing because I have like a very inefficient way of editing <laughs> because my computer tends to be like really slow. So the editing software that I like to use doesn't run that smoothly because after a while I will hear the sound first and then get the image so it's it's harder to edit so i just make a rough cut of the video and then like 
might be able to show you and then like put like timestamps that I need to remove I also want to start writing scripts for my videos instead of like feeling that I'm really rambly during recording so I think having enough notebooks to do that would be nice and it isn't like it doesn't have like a plastic card cover so I thought it would be a nice way to write things down so let me zoom in so you don't see the mess I also wanted to try these two out like it's the square notebook because I don't tend to use the square notebooks. I only use like the line one or the dotted ones. And also on the later side, I got a planner for 2023. These were on sale for like around two euros. So that was nice. I don't have like a weekly planner. So I saw it and I just grabbed it. So I thought it would be great to do that for... Um, I thought it would be great to streamline my video making process. I use like this dot book from Rodia. And like I just write down my video ideas and my goals for 2023 which is in dutch by the way so by the way this is not like a part of the haul but i got the full range of the whole by watercolors and i need to do a video on it i filmed like the unboxing and i think i fit it like this yes it fits I filmed like an unboxing haul and a few parts of it, but I need to do like a proper swatch video. And maybe I will do that on swatch card, but I'm already loving these watercolors. I will do like a proper video on these. You will see them in some shape or form. <laughs> and it's the same way for a few other video ideas. So. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.